हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ वी आई टेक अकेडमी मैन एम इज रतुल एंड आई एम योर होस्ट फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गन सी हाउ यू कैन यूज ऑटो टी टी एस इन योर कंप्यूटर फ्रेंड्स वी कैन यूज ऑटो टी टी एस टू सेट डिफरेंट टी टी एस फॉर डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस फॉर आवर एंड्रॉयड फोन वी कैन यूज ऑटो टी टी एस और वी कैन यूज वर्स By the way we have made a video on how to use versify tts versify tts is a free auto tts developed by vi developers if you are interested to explore that download the tech freedom application and watch the video from our playlist or video section we also attached the video at the i button so if you want you can watch that video from there Now let's come back to the video topic. The problem while we are using our computer is let's suppose you have received a text with a combination of two three languages let's suppose English, Hindi and Bengali and some other languages. So you must need to switch to the specific TTS and then you can read the message. What if I tell you that you can now install one auto TTS or one tool and that will help you to set different tts engine for different languages and you can switch the languages without any hassle it is a very fast the response of the tts is very fast even you can read your text character by character if it has multiple languages the setup of this tool is very very easy and i know this tool is going to be very useful for your daily life those who are interested to learn more about the tool keep watching this video till the end because at the end of the video i will tell you a very very important information about this tool so guys without further delay let's start today's episode Before doing anything, let me open the Notepad. Start. How are you? Notepad. And show you a demo. How are you? How are you? And I'm pressing down arrow. Nothing is changed because my. How are you? I am using IB IBM TTS right now. Now let me switch to the Multilang TTS. Yes, the tool name is called Multilang. So let me switch to it. Select it. My. Multilang. Start. Up. Now see. How are you? How are you? And I'm pressing down arrow. So this is the Bengali of how are you, right? So now you can easily understand how fast the TTS is changing according to the languages. Now let's discuss about the setup and other process. In order to use Auto TTS in your computer, you must be a NVDA user. JAWS users are not able to use this tool. Next, you need to download an add-on. for your nvda the add-on name is multilang keep watching this video we will tell you how you can download this add-on after installing this add-on you need to do some setup to do setup first you need to open your synthesizer settings by using control insert s select synthesizer dialog synthesizer combo box multilang collapse alt plus s So from this combo box choose multilang and press enter as i have already chosen so by default one tts will be automatically set next you need to set up the speech to open the speech settings of nvda press control insert v nvda settings speech normal configuration dialog speech property page synthesizer grouping edit read only multilang multilang now press tab to move to the next option and press shift plus tab to move to the previous option press tab change but tab was it default voice combo box english and collapse alt plus v so default voice from this combo box first you have to choose the language for the voice so by default english is selected after choosing the language press tab synthesizer combo box ibm tts collapse alt plus s Choose the synthesizer or TTS for that specific voice. 
here you can see all of your installed synthesizers or TTS. Press up or down arrow to choose one from the list. IBM Heat. Microsoft Speech AP. Vocalizer Expressive 2.2. Windows One Core Voices. Vocal Microsoft IBM TTS. So as for me, I am setting up with IBM TTS. It's good. Now. Come back to the previous option which is default voice. Default voice combo box English and choose the next language. So for me, I'm choosing Bengali. For you, you can choose uh, Hindi. David Welch, Tibet Bang, Bulga Bangla, BN. Okay, Bangla, I mean Bengali, BN. Now I'm pressing tab. Synthesizer combo box eSpeak NG collapse alt plus S. So by default, eSpeak is selected. It's okay for me. But if you have Lekha or for Hindi, you if you have Lekha or. Uh, and other voices, any other voices, you can use them. So once you are satisfied with your settings, just press tap tap and click on OK button. Central use laps or air of the vaccine autumn autumn punch trust voice on Nico include the late capital say cat beep for use spell modes OK button. Now still if it does not work properly, go to this settings again and click on apply button, then click on OK button. Okay, we have already set up our TTS. Now let's open the notepad again Start up. and remove this text. Plans? Now let me type different text which has a mix of English and Bengali languages. Bengali, India, Instagram, English, in, please, Bengali, India, English, R-S-P-U-S, Spit, Subs, Bengal, so just listen. Please subscribe. So here I have written please subscribe to the channel in Bengali. I have used the word please and subscribe in English and other words in Bengali. And you have already heard that how quickly it can detect the language and switch the TTS. So again Listen. Please category. subscribe. Button. Okay. Now let's read it character by character. P L E A S E space top. Space S U. Okay. So now you can easily edit your text whether it is in Bengali, English, or any other languages by using this NVIDIA add-on. This is how you can easily use this NVIDIA add-on as an auto TTS. To download this add-on, visit our official Telegram channel. The link is given in the video description as well as at the about page of our YouTube channel. If you are interested to get daily basis tech content, tech updates, join our WhatsApp channel and follow us on X. You can follow us on social media like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn to receive updates and other informations. Now let me talk about the drawback of this add-on. If you're using this add-on, you won't be able to change their speed, volume and some other options by visiting the speech uh, configurations or control insert left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow. So let's suppose if you want to use, I mean if you want to change the speed of IBM TTS, how you can change that? So for that, go back to the TTS. Select synthesizer See? dialog. To change the speed or anything else of any of TTS which you are using with your multi line, how to change that? So for doing that, press Ctrl Insert S. Select synthesizer dialog. Go to the synthesizer. Uh, synthesizer. Okay, let me change the keyboard first. English, United States, US. Select synth IBM. T now I just. Uh, boost the speed. Variant rate when rate boost pitch six rate rate boost on. Okay, next come back to the multi lang. Select synthesizer dialog Microsoft speech multi lang. Now see. Start please. please. Can they copy? Subscribe. Open. So Folder. this is how you can solve this problem or this drawback. So this is a, a little drawback of this uh, TTS add-on, but still it is very useful in your daily life. That's it, guys, for the day. If you find this content useful like the video share the video if you have any doubts feel free to ask into the comment section thank you for watching this video see you in the next tutorial till then bye